Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about boxing games for the GBA. Boxing Fever is a first person boxing game. It has 8 playable characters, the game modes are the usual you get in fighting games, and the combat is great. The 8 characters behave different. Bigger characters are more sluggish but deal more damage, more slender characters are more agile but deal less damage. You can also learn special moves and combos. For a boxing game on the GBA, it's pretty good. Wade Hickston's Counter Punch is an amazing game. You get a story in this boxing game. You play as Wade Hickston, a guy whose car broke down in a town and he gets into matches to earn money so that he can repair his car. The graphics look like a Cartoon Network show and the gameplay is a copy of Punch-Out. There are fun animations everywhere. You get 8 boxers to compete against, each with different personalities and each being very charismatic. Also, after each fight, you get story cutscenes. The game is amazing. Having a story in a boxing game makes the game have way more replay value than just playing matches. It makes the matches be more cohesive to something. And it's awesome. Also, the game doesn't consist only on normal matches. Occasionally, you get messages on your beeper if you want to accept a challenge, like winning a match by only dodging, for example. And you can also buy more moves. And you can even bribe the referee to count slower. The game is a boxing masterpiece on the GP. I recommend you try it. Punch King Arcade Boxing is another GBA punch out clone. And it's decent. If you can get past its flaw, that is. The collision detection is whack. Oftentimes, even if you dodge, some hits of your opponent will still score and you lose health. But on the plus side, visually the game is a feast. It has 12 playable characters from around the world and cutscenes before and after each fight. If you can get past the faulty collision detection and like challenging games that can even get frustrating, then this game will appeal to you. Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2 is a good game, but the controls are kind of sloppy. The game turns more into a button masher than having a real strategy to your matches. There are 11 boxers in the game, 6 from the original game, and overall, if you are that type of gamer that doesn't want a challenge at all, and just likes to bash buttons like a madman, you are going to like this game. But for those of you who like to have some strategy to their game and have a little bit of challenge and not beat up everything by randomly pushing some buttons, then the game is not for you. Mike Tyson Boxing is a mediocre game. The combat consists mostly on punching the opponent and moving away when an opponent hits. And the hit detection is bad. Also controls don't always respond or respond with a delay. And overall the boxing is slow and tedious and because of this the game gets boring. But on the plus side you get 16 playable characters and in the training mode you can select the manager option which just boosts your stats without needing to train. Rocky is a decent game but not for hardcore gamers. The game encourages you to button mash. The controls don't respond well. Doing combos is a little tedious, so that the best strategy to win is to just push all the buttons until the opponent gets down. But on the plus side, the game has 22 boxers and it sums up 5 Rocky movies. The game is decent, but as I said, it's not for the challenge seeking players. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.